Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to do kind of a natural makeup look, as in kind of, with the quotations in each size of the expression. By the way, as always, I have a lot of background noise. There is a lot of thunders, plus the birds of my neighbor. So besides that, I'm going to do this in a voiceover because I think that it's going to take a lot less time to get everything done rather than me talking in the process of achieving the look. So without any further ado, let's just go right jump to the tutorial. I'm going to start by prepping my skin with my Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base and I'm going to apply it all over my complexion. Then I'm going to go with my Clarins Instant Smooth Perfecting Touch and I'm going to apply a, just a touch of it in the areas where my pores need it and I'm going to press it into my skin. I'm going to spray my entire complexion with my MAC Fix Plus just to give more hydration to my skin. Now we're going to start with the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum in the shade 060. I'm going to use this Eco Tools Complexion Buffer. And firstly, I have to break all the spheres that this product in particular has, and I'm going to apply it evenly in my entire complexion. This is just going to even out my skin. Now we're gonna go for the concealer. The first one that I'm going to use is this from Dose of Color, and this is in the shade 05 Fair. I'm gonna dot it in the places where I'm needed, and then I'm gonna blend it with my Sephora 57 brush. I'm pressing this in the area where I placed it. I'm not entirely buffing it, just pressing it to keep the coverage that this concealer can offer. Now I'm gonna use the NARS Natural Ready and Longwear Foundation in the shade Punjab Medium 1, and I'm gonna dot it first in my entire complexion, and then I'm gonna use the Equal Tools Complexion Buffer to firstly press it in the center of my complexion, and then I'm gonna buff it in the perimeter of my face. I'm going to take this all over towards my under eye to make sure that everything is well blended and even out. This foundation is going to give my skin a natural looking appearance, which I like. Now I'm going to go for the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Custer or Medium 1. And I'm going to place it exactly where I placed the first one from Dose of Color. And I'm going to use the Sephora 57 brush to blend it. Now I'm going to go for my eye base and I'm going to use the P. Louise Rumor 3, mix it with Rumor 0 and apply it all over my entire lead, carving a little bit of my eyebrow. Now we're going to start with the fun part and I'm going to use the Jeffree Star Orgy palette. And firstly, I start with Honey Lingus and this one I apply it above my natural crease because I have downturn eyes and I can't use my natural crease. I'm using this blending brush that is going to give me a really soft, nicely blend application. Now I'm gonna go with this eyeliner and this is from Pixie by Petra. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Black Caviar. And this one I'm going to apply it from the middle of my eye towards the ending part of it to just blend it with this Luxie 141. And I'm going to really smudge this eyeliner because I just want the shadow of it. And I'm going to incorporate it towards my crease. I'm going to tight line my top waterline. And I'm going to mix with the Luxie 121, the shades all night with body shields to set this liner that I have already applied. I'm going without any worry at all on top of it and what I have left over in the brush I'm going to take it towards my crease and a little bit going outside towards my temples. I'm doing this in small circular motions to be to make sure that everything is extremely well blend and that everything looks cohesive and really really soft. Now I'm going to apply the same two shades all night long with body shields all over my bottom lashes with the same brush just to give continuance to what I have applied in my top part. I'm going to apply mascara all over my bottom lashes and the one that I'm going to use is the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara which is the only mascara that doesn't smudge on my bottom lashes. 
Now I'm gonna go with the shade Scorpio mixed up with I'm Close. With this Morphe angle brush, I'm just going to fill a couple of gaps that I have in my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna use this Benefit Gimme Brow Plus in the shade 4.5, and I'm going to apply it all over my brow hairs just to put them in place and give them a little bit more tint and brush them the way that I want them to stay. Now I'm going to go with this LYS press powder. This is the Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder with this powder puff to seal everything in place. This is not going to add more coverage. It's just going to make sure that everything stays in place. With this MAC 224 brush and the shade All Night Lawn, I did a little bit of contour in my nose, which I usually don't do. And now I'm going to use this as a blush. This is the ColourPop Press Powder Blush in the shade Tarion Up My Heart with this RLM Moda Studio Blush Brush. I'm applying it in a lifting matter. Now I'm going to use this LYS No Limits Matte Bronzer in the shade Light Motivate with this Aesthetica P12 brush. And I'm going to carve and snatch my cheekbones just a touch. I'm not in much into this contour slash bronzing situation, but I really need to block my jaw because I have an elongated face and I need to give more proportion to my complexion. And this is the longest part of my face. Also a little bit of bronzer to tie everything together in my forehead, just a touch really near my hairline. Now I'm gonna go with the MAC Mineralize skin finish natural powder in the shade medium plus and i'm going to use this mac 150 brush and i'm just going to disperse it really lightly on top of my entire complexion now i'm going to highlight my inner corner and i'm going to use the shade am and shy with the sigma e21 i'm going to spray fix plus in my entire complexion to seal the deal the lip duo is the nars satin lip pencil in the shade riku jin all over my top and bottom lips and on top of it i'm gonna go with the sephora lip stories in the shade made in italy all over top and bottom lip and this is it sweets i hope you like it i love how my skin look i was really in the doubt how it would look because it was a lot of layering but they wear extremely thin layers this is one of the things that i learned i took a master class with um, Efraín Tirado he is a really good Mexican makeup artist and this is his proposal for a natural makeup look but made by a professional makeup artist so i really really hope you like it i love how my skin looks this glow it is just a, a mac mineralized finish powder because i'm extremely mattified but it looks like i have this really juicy good looking skin so i hope you like it and if you did please press the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i really appreciate it and if you want to get notified every time i upload a video press the notifications bell and i will see you in the next one Bye.